your second time landlord here. I'm here at our second property. We just closed yesterday, so DC's on his way with the U-Haul. And we're just gonna sweep and clean, add all of the furniture that we had from the townhouse in here. And our goal is to get it listed by March 1st for rental. So let me give you guys a tour. Here's my beautiful deck. It's really, really spacious. The backyard is pretty big. We have to fence this entire backyard like I was telling you guys yesterday. Okay, here is the master bedroom. And the bathroom. Really big closet, guys. Fresh paint everywhere. Dolly here. Yeah, we in that new, new spot. Smell like pine wood. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the kitchen, and there is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So I love that, especially for the kiddos. The other bathroom, really big living room. Here is the front porch, which I love, y'all. And then new appliances, of course. The basement is my favorite part. Here's the basement. It's a finished basement. This could be one bedroom, but we're gonna make this a game room. It has a washer and dryer. Here's the second room. Pretty good closet space. So guys, you are looking at a five bedroom house Fully finished basement, new appliances in the kitchen, washer and dryer, uh, newly painted. We love this place. Hey, get the ball. How do you ask? Please. You done lost your ball. ball. I said follow the ball, not break the ball. Follow the ball. <laughs> okay, let me get to sweeping. Stop harassing Dollar. It's a big one now. I'm not rolling down it. Huh? You the door on that side of the house? No. Oh yeah, in the basement. Here. This is back, right? Yeah. That's a friend. Do we need for you on one of these? Now you have to pick it up. Go get it! You gotta get it. What's up? Oh! Okay, you gotta turn it, guys. Big boy, where are you at? The guys just left. They're going to drop off the U-Haul. Cardi is here. Um, we have a lot of things for the kitchen. We have our furniture. The TV works. The Wi-Fi is on. Things are coming along, guys. I'm home alone right now. and Oh, we have the triple security, by the way. So... Um, I feel good. So all of the windows, all of the doors, we have motion censored 
like monitoring inside the house and outside of the house on the front and back porch and on the side of the house so i feel good um earlier we met this white couple that was just like walking around or whatever they came to say hi to us i think they think that we're like moving moving in um so that was nice they were just telling us that all of the units in the neighborhood is occupied um they go jogging a lot around here and they were just excited for us um to own this property feels so good guys i'm just so excited everything is coming along as soon as dc gets back we have to put together the bed um we weren't able to sell our season tickets for last night's game and tonight's game so i think i'm going to let snookums in dc go to the game and my friend patty's in town so she wants to have lunch i have to link up with my best friend Jasmine and meet my niece. So I have a lot to do today. Oh, to, oh and I was supposed to go out to this event last night. I mean, tonight was Swah. I have too much to do. And we only have one car, so I don't know. But it was, it's looking like I'm gonna be out all night. So I brought a change of clothes and my makeup. So we'll figure it out. We did bring a blow up. So I don't know if the guys just want to Technically, they could Uber to the game and then Uber back, but we'll see. Hey guys, so your girl has been cleaning for hours, but everything is coming together. We have the bed set up in the master bedroom. We have a few, um, like the cure rag and a few little things in the kitchen, the sofa, the TV, in the living room, and we put a table in the basement. Um, with four chairs so everything is coming together guys i'm so excited i was talking to my dad for like an hour and he's just so proud of me we were just talking about a bunch of different things but it's funny because this whole thing um is bringing me and my dad like really closer together like me and my dad talk a lot on the phone now just always talking about real estate and the properties and how i'm feeling and what i'm thinking and all of that good stuff um right now i'm on my way to cvs I have to get Windex, who was it y'all, Windex, sponges, Kleenex wipes, and I'm going to get um, toilet paper for all of the bathrooms, tissue paper, you know, just a few little things. So right in this little area, there's a CVS, a Wendy's, a McDonald's, there's like a bunch of different things around here. They're slutty vegan, like nine minutes away. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stay here tonight and I had no idea y'all earlier DC was like make sure you pack extra clothes and I was like, okay Because I just thought we were going out Like, you know once we left the house <clears throat> But then this morning DC told me to pack extra panties and I was like I don't know why the hell he's telling me to pack extra panties, but Love this energy. Love it if My husband want me to pack extra panties. We're packing extra panties, right? Um, but then he was like, no, we're staying the night tonight, babe. I was like, oh, okay. And I guess that is our tradition because when we bought the townhouse, me and DC stayed in the, um, in the air mattress and we had absolutely nothing. We had one bottle of wine and an air mattress. Like, I don't even think we had toilet paper. So, yes, but uh, Snookums loves the house. And I love that he loves the house. I just hope he understands that we're not living here. So, yeah. A little awkward. <laughs> okay, y'all, the TV is the now oh, we're getting the blinds up. But I, feel like it's I mean, the curtains. Let's see. Is it fun? Uh, I mean, it's Why is it not going to fit? I really want to More of that. 
Mm-hmm. You want to score it and put it on and scroll back? Mm-hmm. Now, should I put a third one on? How that stupid? No. What? Keep it too. Look, it ain't, it ain't that cute. Oh, it's not wide enough? No. <laughs> why so thin, yeah, skinny why like that? Oh, no. And the thing too big. It's skim jaw. Where we got this from? Yeah. That's what we get. We got from Big Lots. And why don't shop at Big Lots? <laughs> Everything on Amazon. Yeah, do three. Oh, wow. Three on just, just go ahead and do. I mean, might put all four of them on. No, for real, put four. Just to make you. Yeah, I like to take one of these holes off. I'll tell you, it's too long, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's too long. Somebody over the door. Unless we, now, because it, it, it wasn't long as it was the high. What are the babies doing? Yeah, not me. So I took a shower. The shower gets really hot, which is great. So it's female approved. Um, this room was a little bigger than I thought. So I think once we put the TV on the wall, we need to order a dresser. This room can have maybe like a chair in this corner right here. See, the closet is so big that you don't really need extra storage or anything. Even with me getting a dresser, it's like, maybe if we, I don't know how this will work, y'all. Oh, I know what it is. The bed needs two nightstands. That's what it is. Two nightstands, a headboard. Yeah, and a dresser. Let me show you guys. So this is the bed. I'm gonna guess. I mean, the master bedroom. That is the closet. That's the bathroom. And then, of course, that's the kitchen right there. So it's what we're looking like. So my friend Patty is in town. So I am just waiting on her so we can go get something to eat. But guys, I didn't realize how close we were to everything. Like, yes right by the mercedes-benz stadium tonight should be fun i'm so tired about taking a nap there we go good morning y'all i just had to make my own little tripod it's literally 9 a.m. It's so early, but I volunteer to help my friend. Um, what did I volunteer, y'all? I volunteered to help my friend. Hold on, because y'all know I don't know nothing about. There we go. Y'all know I can't stand driving this Tesla, but I volunteered to help my friend decorate for her bridal shower. The bridal shower is today, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna help her maid of honor is going to need all hands on deck so i'm trying to show up for my friends more with acts of service guys instead of actually showing up sometimes because it's just not the responsible thing to do so for an example my friend invited me to her bachelorette party y'all and i just it's just not responsible like i just bought a house i have to furnish this airbnb and I told myself, guys, y'all know I had to get out of debt to buy the house, obviously. After paying off all of my credit cards and all of my credit cards being at zero, I refused to go back in the hole to spend money unnecessarily and to just use my credit on like fun times. Um, that's why I think I'm just going to tell my friend like, look, I was there with your maid of honor. <laughs> super early I helped put together your bridal shower you know I'm gonna ask her the morning of the wedding if she wants me to come at 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. and just be that one person to like just run around entertain her guests cater to her bridesmaids like let me just show up and just be behind the scenes helping you um instead of me showing up for like your bridal your bachelorette weekend because guys I really wanted to go the bachelorette weekend is in Arizona so I know it's gonna be fun but it's just not the responsible thing to do and don't get me wrong like technically I could afford it like I could squeeze the trip in but it's just not responsible I can put the whole thing on my Amex and just pay it off later but 
I just really need to start practicing good habits and it's like right now it's just not my season to be going out and having fun and splurging because I know myself soon as we go I'm gonna want to buy all the bridesmaids to drink I'm gonna need to upgrade my flight seat then I need souvenirs I still have to take off work like and on the other end I'm like oh people only get married once right but I'm just like look if it doesn't align with my personal goals especially because right now I'm on such a time crunch like this house has to start making me money our first mortgage payment is April 1st so you already know my husband is gonna pay the mortgage but um yeah we're just on a time crunch like I have to furnish this house we just did all the paperwork for the city of Atlanta for like you have to fill out some type of paperwork for Airbnb you have to get like, get it like approved and all of that good stuff like you have to enlist the house on Airbnb I guess so that's where I'm at with it y'all so yeah I don't think I'm gonna go on the trip the only way I'm going to go is if my husband pays for something because y'all already know he's going on the bachelor party weekend whatever it's called but y'all I can't afford it I'm sorry turn it right here I'm gonna take you guys around the house today show you guys what we have already and I would love if you guys can just give me some decor tips like literally go on Amazon Target don't give me no Walmart I'm never shopping at Walmart but go to Amazon Target and Ikea literally leave the link for me in the comments y'all because y'all know with any of my places like I am just not good at decorating I don't I don't have an eye for decor and like I don't care about none of that so y'all seriously help me out I want you guys to literally find stuff for me to decorate this Airbnb please I want the basement to be a game room I need the house to be gender neutral yeah thank you bridal shower I'm so tired y'all so first of all I don't know if y'all peeped but this whole home buying process was stressing me out so bad and I'm breaking out so bad guys like ever since like a week before closing I would say my skin was going crazy and I'm one of those people when I'm under stress when I'm under stress I break out which is so annoying so I've just been icing my face which has helped a lot with the inflammation and not wearing any makeup um, I really need to go see my esthetician, y'all, but we're going to make it do what it do, as always. Um, I really need to start meditating because I know it's just like my cortisone, cortisone, I forget what it's called, start with C. My whatever levels are just always so high. And I know that also has a lot to do with drinking alcohol, y'all. So when I stopped drinking alcohol in December, my skin was flawless as soon, as soon as I started drinking again, I started breaking out again. So I don't really know the science behind it, but it's definitely something. For sure. So I'll probably stop drinking again and do dry March. Um, I need to go harder on my faceless account. So guys, I have a faceless TikTok and Instagram account and this is where I sell my digital products outside of my personal pages. 
this is it game changer because i can post every single day without feeling burnt out because i'm not using my own content it doesn't matter what my skin looks like what my hair looks like what my nails looks like where i'm at i can just always pump out content because it's a faceless page of course um so if you guys are struggling with making sales or you know you want to be more consistent on social media but you just don't have the bandwidth or the schedule or even like the finances to be sharing your environment what you look like the mental state you're currently in definitely create a faceless account y'all and if you guys need help with filming b-roll for your faceless account you need help with coming up with your content or you want to use other people's content and you need help trying to find good faceless b-roll um dm me on instagram because i have a course and when you buy my course i actually give all of my personal b-roll to you guys so i've been saving all of my b-roll in a google drive for the girls that want content without it being like white hands typing white hands on an iphone white girls walking downtown white girls picking up a coffee cup you know, white girls putting on heels, adding lipstick to their lips. Like I noticed after making my faceless account, even on Canva, there's just not enough minority like pieces of content that has like hands, hand models that's our skin tone, hair texture that's like ours. Like I didn't find any good b-roll of black and brown girls so i just started creating my own pretty much so yes if you guys sign up for my faceless marketing course i'll provide all of that for you why do i have bananas First of all, why are you just storming in mommy's room? I'm not storming in mommy's room. Why you just bust through the door like that?
Don't try to squeeze me now. I want to squeeze you. Like, do y'all want me to be on Valentine or not? I want to be a Valentine. You know, when you want to ask a, a girl something, you have to come with like roses, a card. You know, you have to be a gentleman. You said what? I don't know how to get caught on myself. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Mommy's gonna take you to the store. We're gonna find a Valentine's Day card for me. Is that a deal? You can pick it up. Is that a deal? Yes or no? But mommy, I don't know how to pick it up. It's too big. Okay, I'll get daddy to help you. <laughs> 